Now, the number one thing I want to go over in Bleach, in the side of this game, is that when you first start out, you will have a chain on your chest, which, if you press P, you can begin to be a hollow, or if you find one of these Soul Reaper NPCs, you can basically become a Soul Reaper. Now, another thing that I wanted to say is that if someone is a Soul Reaper, they can basically purify you into a Soul Reaper 2 by pressing the P key on their keyboard instead of you just finding an NPC. Now, another thing is that when you start out as a Soul Reaper, you can basically pull out your sword by pressing the 1 key. If you want to meditate, you can press M, but you have to focus that when you go to like rank 15. Another thing I found people that is very confused about is how to do a flash step. Now, of course, inside the game description, it says you can press Shift Q to do a flash step, but you need a skill. This skill that you need is called Sonido, which is what you see on the skill menu. You can open up the skill menu by pressing N for a keybind. Now obviously you can't get this once you start out, in order for you to get this you have to be rank 19 which you can get rank 19 in experience from fighting hollows or completing quests. Each skill that you get requires a certain amount of skill points, the flash set that you want to get obviously requires one skill point. If you guys wish to equip a skill that you have, once you get the skill you have to click on the skill name and then once it turns yellow you click on the key like that and then you basically have your skill equipped. Now another thing that I want to go over is when you first start out and you have to go to something called the soul society if you want to do anything there first thing that you need you need senkai mon i'll post it up here senkai mon is free right when you start up you press n you click on senkai mon and then you press yes and then once you click on it you get you have to press the key bind that you put senkai mon on and then once you do that you go through the little door that it shows up and then you appear here at the soul society now there's not really much to do here at the soul society but if you get rank 15 on like a high rank which is aka like lower ranks like rank 5 or whatever if you meditate you can get shinkai you have to meditate for like a good 30 to 45 minutes from what i heard and then it teleports you somewhere and then you have to click all these random boxes or whatever to find your shinkai and then you easily get a powerful weapon I do not recommend you guys getting these skills by the way when you start out these are like pvp skills and if you do on uh if you plan on doing pvp then you can get these because one of them is just a red flash grenade well you can blind people then the other one this is where you can bind people up basically now of course if you're starting up in this game i'm going to teach you guys how to easily defeat hollows and it's super easy trust me you'll be able to complete every quest now, if you can see what I do right here, it's super easy. So first of all, Soul Reavers have four hit combos. When you do your first two hit combos, make sure that you're close up to them. But when you get to the third or fourth hit, make sure that you back up, but don't back up too far. What this causes is that it does a knock back to basically the hollow, right? And then once you do that, make sure that you wait a little bit by backing up more because they can't hit you. And the most important thing about attacking hollows is that it makes you always get the first hit in. Because when you get the first hit in, they can barely attack you. Now, if you ever get a yellow, like, clash or whatever, that means you clash with the hollow. But hollows have three hit combos. So on your fourth hit, you'll be able to knock them back easily. I promise that if you do this type of fighting style consistently, I'm pretty sure everybody knows. Because if you see right here, I am lagging a bit. But you can see on my last hit how it knocks them back pretty far. And then I back up and then I go back to attacking them. And then you see my HP, right? It stays 100 the whole time. And this is how I grind my quest. And this is how you rank up easily. You don't have to do all that extra skill bullshit. If you just keep on doing this, then you basically can level up easily. And just like that, you defeat a hollow without even taking any damage. Now another thing that we have to talk about is how to track hollows. Now right here, if you press the J key on your keyboard, these things will pop up. The purple things that you see are basically the hollows, and then the red ones that you see are soul reapers. Now for the purple ones, sometimes they're not hollows, sometimes they're menos. I don't recommend you find them though. They're tall, black, and white masked people. You guys probably know what they look like. I'll post a picture right here, but think about them in game. They'll look exactly like it. And one thing I do recommend is that if you go to a purple circle and you see a type of NPC with a white clothing, do not fight them. Trust me, they are pretty strong and they'll probably fuck you up. Make sure you fight the type of hollows that I am fighting right now. Another thing that I want to talk about is that when you're doing your quest and then you see the multiple hollows fighting each other, make sure you let them fight. But if you wish to go get the kill still, if you hit them like what I did right here and you see my quest, right? You're going to see in a good minute that once they die and I get good enough hits in, you can see right there that my quest numbers go up. Now right here, I do not kill this hollow. The player does for me. I guess he's a nice guy. And then if you see on the left, just like that, my quest has gone up and I completed it. 
now obviously i had a quest right here i got a quest from just asking the dude right when you spawn in i'll show you guys right here my quest is already done but the guy where i go at to complete my quest is all the way in the other town which is what i can use my senkai mon for basically he gives you hollows to kill and i recommend you guys going to this guy every time for a quest don't go to anybody else and I heard that if you keep on trying to get quests from him, he can basically give you different amounts of hollows to kill. He give you like five, six, seven, eight. So if you guys just want to reduce it, keep on retrying. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the guide, feel free to like and subscribe since I help you guys a lot during this video. Well, unless you, well, unless you had it as hell. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.